into effect or could go into effect in 90 days gives them gives right. these towns enough time to build those tent cities or dhs to build All right. Them. Now, All right yeah yesterday president was weighing in on his thoughts on twitter about the election and all the democrats that are that have put their hat mm. in the ring and I believe it will be crazy sleepy joe biden as the two finalists to run against maybe the best economy in the history of our country and many other great things i look forward to facing whoever their soul. Right. Uh, the Washington uh, Post has got an article this morning, or rather the New York Times has got an article on the front page that says uh, Sanders is surging, has Democrats uh, jittery again. And there's the New York Times. Stop Sanders. Democrats are agonizing over his momentum. And here's the thing. He's doing so well right now. And party leaders, remember, he's not really a Democrat. He's a socialist Democrat uh, who caucused in the past with the Democrats. They don't want him to be the winner after the conventions. And in fact, they talk about in both newspapers about how at this stage, it looks like they could go right up to the convention next summer and not have a winner. And he could be one of the guys or people who is the last man standing. There's been meetings in New York and Washington, uh, so-called secret meetings. Uh, among the Until people today. that participate is uh, Terry McAuliffe, Schumer, Pelosi, uh, uh, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, and Neera, T uh, Neera Tandon, which explains why she was lashing out at Bernie Sanders, calling him, uh, how, get this, a capitalist, after his uh, town hall where he claimed to be a millionaire and wants to hold on to all his money. Uh, there's no doubt about it. There was a push against Donald Trump because he was atypical for an outsider going in, but they couldn't stop the momentum. With Bernie Sanders, the way they're going to work it, unlike Republicans, there's no winner take all. There's proportional. And it's logical to think that maybe he could be in the lead when they go to the convention and they might not have a nominee. And after the first round, if he's in the lead but doesn't have enough delegates, the second round, in come the so-called superdelegates and they put a more traditional candidate there. Really? How do you think the Sanders supporters are going to react to that after they reacted when you saw how upset they were on Hillary Clinton? It was right. When she, yeah, when she uh, uh, rounded up her superdelegates. So this could be a disaster. And I think Donald Trump is probably really upset about the potential roadblock. Well, after the president tweeted that last night, he tweeted at 924 talking mm. about Bernie and Joe Biden. Bernie Sanders wrote back about 17 minutes, exactly 17 minutes later. And he said, looks like President Trump is scared of our campaign. He should be. Well, uh, right. somebody who is getting a lot of publicity uh, on the Democratic side, we're not talking Bernie, we're not talking Beto, we're not talking Biden, we're talking Buttigieg. And uh, just take a look at some of these headlines on NBC. Pete Buttigieg's next challenge turning celebrity into a national campaign. CNN, Pete Buttigieg is the hottest candidate in the 2020 race right now. And New York Mag says, how about Pete? Right now, according to the Real Clear Politics average, he is uh, between Warren and Booker. It's not much, but then again, it is a lot better than he was doing about a, week, a, a month ago. And now he's getting all this publicity. He's raising a lot of money and he's got a lot of support. But the big question is, once people learn more about what he stands for, will they still be behind him? Because we don't know at this point a lot about it. We know his, uh, his uh, dad was a, a Marxist, a, a professor. We know that he speaks seven languages, went to Yale, uh, served in the military, and was mayor of South Bend, Indiana. Uh, and we really don't know about any necessarily accomplishments. We know he's very composed with a good message, but he's got absolutely nobody in Iowa yet. So you've got to wonder how much, how much substance and power is actually behind him. Well, we have another year until the convention. It's going to be next summer in Milwaukee, the Democratic convention. Brett Hume was weighing